Ingress. Working together to alleviate flooding. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm interested in the world around me, why things are the way they are. I take an active interest in what happens on my doorstep, right here in my community. I like to get involved in things. It's the kind of person I am. Last winter was one of the wettest winters ever. It rained so much, the river anywhere burst its banks and houses on the Midtown estate flooded. There was also damage to water quality and the local wildlife. The main road through our town flooded several times and was closed. Businesses suffered and it caused disruption to people's lives. And see that school over there? That's my son's school. It flooded twice and was closed for nearly two weeks. The council dropped off sandbags at the school and I was among a group of parents who got stuck in and helped mop up. Last winter was pretty difficult for many people in the neighbourhood, but it was great to see the whole community pull together in our time of crisis. Then I got to wondering how technology could be used by people like me to help prevent flooding. After all, I've got this nifty gizmo on my bike that measures lots of cool stuff like speed, heart rate and how many calories I'm burning today, so why not do the same for flooding? That's when I found out about an app called Ingress. Ingress lets you record and report information on a whole range of environmental events in real time, including flooding and pollution, rising river levels, where wildlife and their ecosystems are at risk, deterioration in water quality. I simply type in the details, take a picture and click the send button. The data is automatically sent to the relevant organisation, such as the Environment Agency or the local council, where the information is analysed, assessed and prioritised. The relevant authority decides what should be done to resolve the issue. This could include flood relief, site investigations or emergency clearance works. The information and data can also be used to inform long-term decisions, such as a new flood alleviation scheme. And the information flows both ways. I get feedback about what they're doing with the data I send, and the app is updated to show other users which issues have been reported and actions taken. I also get information from my local network about the little things I can do to use less water, like putting water butts in my garden, which cuts consumption and reduces pressure on the sewer network. Plus I get to hear about local community projects such as creating rain gardens, reed planting to improve water quality and create new habitats, and opportunities to reuse grey water. This app delivers huge benefits. It's fast, it's accurate, and it gives organisations more up-to-date information than they're able to gather with existing mechanisms and resources. It helps them identify and prioritise areas at risk and target resources and help more quickly. Plus, it fosters a greater sense of collaboration between the community, local government and organisations like the Environment Agency. And what do I get out of it? Well, I guess you've heard about the butterfly effect and how a series of small changes can accumulate and make a big difference. Well, this is how I feel when I use this app. I'm like a community butterfly and this simple tool gives community-minded people like me the ability to collaborate with big organisations to help make my world, my community, a more resilient and better place to live. Ingress. Working together to alleviate flooding.